Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to the Monster Jam OCD Evolution Series. It has been years since I've done an evolution video, and today I am back with this series updated to modern times up to 2021. There's going to be a lot of new information that was not included in those older videos, which I since have uh, privated on my channel just because I don't want them to interfere with these newer videos. They faded off, but the series was constantly being asked for by people in my comments, even up to this modern period of time. So I am returning with this series. I want to say that this video likely will be in two parts because there's just so many grave diggers to talk about, but I want to get through all of them and I want to do it with the best and most accurate information that I could possibly give to you. The video will also be chaptered by year, so you guys can skip ahead if you guys don't want to listen to every bit of information that I will throw at you today. I can understand that uh, it's hard to sit through such a long video, but if you're interested in hearing about the whole evolution of Gravedigger Diecast from 2000 to 2021, you're in the right place, and thank you for the support on these types of videos. I will be doing other trucks such as Max D and Monster Mutt and, you know, all the other big names that have had a significant evolution over time. But starting at the black and green wrecking machines seems to be the most fitting place to begin because it is by far one of the most recognizable Monster Jam trucks and monster trucks of all time. So starting off our journey here today, we are talking about 2000 and 2000 was a very simple year. There was only one grave digger and this is during the era of Hot Wheels Monster Jam which started in 2000 and continued up until 2018. So grave digger has had a huge Huge history with Hot Wheels Monster Jam, but the first one was relatively simple. So here is the first release of a Grave Digger by Hot Wheels Monster Jam. This is often referred to as the stacked logo Grave Digger because this is uh, the older Grave Digger logo style when it was stacked on top of each other. Eventually the logo will be uh, the horizontal logo, which the Grave Digger truck still uses to this day. But here is the Grave Digger model that they released for Hot Wheels Monster Jam in 2000. This model will be used until 2004. So we're gonna see this one a couple times during this beginning part of this uh, evolution series. So that's 2000, very simple. You can see here's the body, here's the casting that we will see up until 2016. So get used to seeing this uh, casting often referred to as the square headlights uh, casting. And we have a green roll cage and a metal chassis. Uh, in 2004, we will see a uh, significant change in these tires and rims. They will become the Big Hub series, which are bigger rims and tires. These are the small hubs, so this is part of the classic series. So that's the Grave Digger from 2000. And moving into 2001, again, this Grave Digger stays the same, so we still have this one, but we do add another member to the fleet, which is Grave Digger number one, the blue grain panel van version. People often refer to this as Grave Digger the Legend, but actually it is not Grave Digger the Legend. Grave Digger the Legend comes out a little bit over a decade later uh, sporting the same colors but not sporting the Chesapeake Virginia on the side instead it says Gravedigger the Legend uh, so this is what Gravedigger the Legend was based off of but this is actually Gravedigger number one Hot Wheels used the classic Gravedigger casting for this release so that's often why it's referred to as Gravedigger the Legend but it definitely is not so this is one of the variations I couldn't find my other one surprisingly of this uh, variant of Gravedigger but there is a lighter blue paint color this is uh, the purple one as people often call it it has a lavender color uh, you can see all the different details here and um, it's a fun fact that this one actually gets very easily sun damaged uh, whenever it's exposed to UV or sunlight. So the purple rims you're seeing on this side is because in my packaging uh, the sunlight couldn't reach these uh, rims but this side the sun did reach them and it was a very quick exposure. I was cleaning my closet one day and it turned them gray. So if you have the purple variation of this do not let it get to sunlight if it has purple rims because you will not be able to undo that. That's permanent and sadly uh, these aren't very commonly seen much anymore so you can't really replace it like I have not been able to but there is the purple variant again I'll put the blue variant on screen so you guys can see it uh, very similar to this just a bluer color lighter blue I will be looking for that variant uh, either I don't have it or I just lost it in my closet somewhere but there is the grave diggers from 2001 and moving into 2002 we have a change in this scheme so or this color scheme we have the updated grave digger number one panel van it is now a darker blue with a silver roll cage and blue rims and it has of course that metal chassis with the red headlights we also have this same Gravedigger making an appearance in the main line 
And then for the first time ever, we have an anniversary body of a Gravedigger monster truck. And this occurs during the 20th anniversary in 2002. This is that version of Gravedigger. This is actually my favorite Gravedigger anniversary body that they've done yet. I just love the simplicity of it. And this is definitely one of my favorite uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam Gravediggers in my collection. You can see the scheme here is relatively simple, like I said, but very effective. It has the classic flames and headlights, and it also has this bone colored white chassis or roll cage with the metal chassis and gray rims. So this actually came out in three packs. There was a couple different three packs that it was released in, but it was never released as a single pack in the main line. Those two were, but this one was actually only dedicated to multi-packs during its existence. So this is part of 2002, and moving into 2003, we get rid of the blue gravedigger which will return about a decade later we keep this classic gravedigger scheme and this one but we add actually one of our first super rare variations of a gravedigger monster jam truck which is the 20th anniversary gravedigger with the monster jam logo variation this one was exclusively found in a variation of a six pack uh, sold in Costco stores. So it was very hard to come by. And as I mentioned, it is actually one of the rarest Gravedigger variants to come by. So you can see the difference here is that logo shift. And that's a very minor thing, but for variation collectors and Gravedigger collectors, it is one of the hardest ones to find. Additionally, in 2003, we received another mainline Gravedigger, and this is often referred to as the White Out Gravedigger. It is just a simple white graphics scheme over a Spectra Flame chrome green body. And uh, there was never really an actual code name or subset given to it. But again, it has been since nicknamed by the community, the Whiteout series. So here it is with that Gravedigger scheme. And if you notice, this scheme is actually much different than the Gravedigger that we have been receiving for the last a couple years. So this is actually the scheme we're gonna see in the next year, which is 2004, with the horizontal logo and updated graphics. But until next year, we will be seeing this standard stacked logo Gravedigger. So this is the Whiteout Gravedigger, and those are the four Gravediggers of 2003. And moving into 2003, 2004, a lot of things change about Gravedigger. First, we do receive this standard Gravedigger once more, and we also receive a logo variant of it because at this time, we are shifting away from the USHRA badge being used as the primary advertisement of the actual Monster Truck League, and now the Monster Jam logo is taking over as the primary source of advertising. So you can see the USHRA badge has been replaced by the Monster Jam logo in a pretty commonly found variant, but uh, still a big change here from the two different um, logos. And that was the first release of Gravedigger. And in mid-year 2004, we have the changeover from the small hub series into the big hubs. And this is actually when the Gravedigger receives its new paint scheme. So you can see the vast difference between these two schemes here. Uh, the purple color, the horizontal uh, logo, and a bunch of uh, new airbrushing details. So this big change did occur during 2004, as well as these big tires and rims taking over as the primary size for the rest of Hot Wheels Monster Jam's era. So that's a big change in itself. But we also receive a very, very rare variation of Gravedigger with this body on a small hub in a six pack from Costco as well. So this actually becomes one of the holy grails of Gravedigger collecting alongside that 20th anniversary Monster Jam logo uh, variant. This is what I would consider one of the rarest mainline Gravediggers of all time. And it is the only time you're gonna see this body on a small hub chassis. We did see it, like I mentioned, with the Whiteout series, but that's not a standard Gravedigger. And the only other ones we've seen small hubs are these two. So that is the biggest change here in 2004, really the Gravedigger body scheme change. So this is really, really cool. In addition to this, plans were to actually rebrand Gravedigger during this time in the sport. And they released this Gravedigger, which is again, a professional rebrand of the scheme to make it more uh, characterized. And it has the appearance of the Grimm character. This is the first time Grimm appears and he will be prevalent up until 2021 actually. So this is the Gravedigger character Grimm. And we have some nice like ghouls and spirits rising from the graveyard. The haunted house is still there. And then it says Dennis Anderson's Gravedigger with that stacked logo returning. Uh, the flames are a little different as well. And then you can see the three triangles here which is part of the real life gravedigger scheme have finally been added on and the grim face on the roof and bad to the bone so this is our first time seeing bad to the bone on a die cast release the real truck did have it for a long time up to this point and the grim face this is our first appearance of it and it will appear on most gravedigger models even up to this modern day period so this part of the rebrand stayed however this part did not ever become a real truck they did drop that rebrand and kept the classic airbrush style of gravedigger and moving into 2005 this grave 
Gravedigger will make appearances in every single year up until 2011. So get used to seeing this because this is the standard Gravedigger up to that point in time. So this one obviously makes an appearance actually twice in the singles mainline this year as well as multi-packs. But the big change in Gravediggers that year was that same Grim character, but this time on a chrome body. So this is actually our first chrome uh, Gravedigger that we received with the pure chrome color, not the green one, but this one. This is our secondary release of the Grim Gravedigger now with a chrome body as compared to the black uh, scheme of the past year. And in 2006, we see these same two Gravediggers make a reappearance. So the classic Gravedigger as well as that chrome Grim. But in addition to that, we have a few special edition trucks to add on to it. In 2006, Hot Wheels introduces the brand new Undercover series, which included the classic Gravedigger scheme, as well as that black scheme of the Grim Gravedigger. And the point of the Undercover series is actually to get a view underneath the body. So you can actually just lift up these pins or fully remove the body to get a look at the interior of the uh, truck itself. So pretty awesome. So that's the first one, which is the standard Gravedigger. And then we have the Grim Gravedigger, which does the same feature. So those two were part of that series. Adding on to that style theme, here, they also introduce the X Racers series. And this is a take on their own Hot Wheels X Racer series at the time, which were clear bodies to see right through into the truck. They also kept that pin style setup here where you can actually lift up the body and take it off if you choose to. And you can look through it like that. So the Grave Digger was included in those special edition series, as well as another introduction of a specialized scheme. We have the all too famous Green Ghost Grave Digger making its debut this year in the Hot Wheels Monster Jam series. It was run on the circuit actually and became one of the most popular Gravedigger schemes of all time. So this is the Green Ghost Gravedigger. Here you can see the detail of the differences in the paint scheme. The fog is now this green flame style. The ghost mouth and face is completely different with the red eyes uh, as compared to the uh, purple ghost. That's why we call it Green Ghost. And then the roof there had the bad to the bone with the skull and crossbones with that foggy flame style with the red eyes and bad to the bone as well as the fog flames on the hood. So that was the big change. And this Gravedigger also received an Undercovers release here. So you can see same function as the other ones had with that pin setup. And if you've been keeping track of the years and you know modern day Monster Jam, you know that Gravedigger celebrates an anniversary every five years. So from 2002, now in 2007, we have another anniversary year. And this is the 25th anniversary of Gravedigger. So we have an introduction of the classic two that we've already been looking at before. These two are back again. Uh, the Chrome Grim, which I'm not quite sure why they keep the Chrome body so often, but they do tend to do that for the next few years. So there's the Chrome Grim and the classic Grave Digger. We also have a new series joining the fleet here, which are the Shocks trucks. So they actually have functioning uh, shocks inside of the chassis built into them. They are considered one of the most pointless series just because they don't really have too much of a function here. Uh, we have discussed these in detail on our Monster Truck Collecting Podcast if you want to check that out for more detail. But uh, this is the Shock series, so Gravedigger does get a Shocks release. And in addition to these guys, we get some special paint schemes from the anniversary that ran in real life. We have the Gravedigger 25th anniversary body, which is the black and green edition. So you can see it has the 25th anniversary badge on the side here underneath the Gravedigger logo, as well as the since 1982 ribbon on the hood. We also have the update to the Gravedigger scheme. You can see the difference in the scheme here. Uh, this is the modern day Gravedigger scheme still used to this day. This is kind of a more outdated one here. We also have the 25th anniversary roof there with the ghost face and the new flames and Gravedigger, bad to the bone and a new hood style. So there is the 25th anniversary black edition. And we also have from the World Finals, the special edition 25th anniversary chrome body. So again, this ran at World Finals and it had this really awesome paint scheme. So a giant haunted house, uh, the Dennis Anderson tombstone since 1982, 25th anniversary grave digger, uh, some silver flames with purple details and the ghost face on the roof with the silver flames and 2006 racing championship on there as well. So there is the 25th anniversary chrome body. And in a specialized two pack, we actually had the return of that grave digger grain truck. I actually forgot that it got a release uh, so soon. I thought it was a decade later, but it actually came out much sooner than that. So this is the metal base, uh, metal chassis edition of the Big Hub Blue Grave Digger. Exact same truck that we saw from the small hubs back in 2002 and now returning in a special edition two pack against the 25th anniversary uh, Black Grave Digger. And 2008 actually starts another new trend in the Hot Wheels Monster Jam era that will continue until its eventual retirement in 2018, which are the new plastic based trucks. So as compared to the classic metal bases to save on costs and change things up, they do eventually switch to plastic bases instead of the metal. So they have now updated 
all of the future trucks of Gravedigger and other trucks to have those changes. So you can see here, the new chrome plastic base has a pretty shiny appearance and it does have uh, some new updates to the actual undercarriage and everything. And the roll cage also uh, gets an update to itself. Uh, but this is the Grave Digger that we receive in the main line and a special three pack and other multi packs that year. We also have the Shock Series returning again, uh, just another release in that same year, as well as the introduction of the Spectra Flame series. So Spectra Flame will continue on for many years, but this is the only release of a Spectra Flame Grave Digger. It has a charcoal paint color and it has the red line Spectra Flame uh, rims here. So they're painted in red. In addition to those trucks, we do have uh, some other variations of plastic base uh, models. We have the Chrome Grim Grave Digger again returning now with the plastic base. So it does get that variation as well as our first playset exclusive Grave Digger variant, which is commonly referred to as the Black Rim Grave Digger. So you can see here it has black rims and a gray base and it has that classic uh, Grave Digger paint scheme. So this came from a playset um, not very commonly seen nowadays. So that's a playset variation and this was a multi-pack variation on the plastic base Grim Grave Grave Digger. And I was actually wrong about the 2011 mention of the Grave Digger scheme changing. Uh, I was getting to mix up with Max D's casting change, which you'll see in a future video. In 2009, we actually have the change into the new Grave Digger scheme. This actually enters the die cast world as the official paint scheme for Grave Digger past 2009 until the retirement of Hot Wheels Monster Jam. So you can see here is a refreshing new scheme based on the real life truck, more accurate than the previous body that we have been seeing. So this one makes an appearance in the main line there. It even has the three time champion on the roof and the grim face. So that's a pretty cool update. We also have the return of that same playset variation, the black rimmed grave digger. And at the beginning of the year, we do have the classic uh, grave digger scheme that we've been seeing for a few years. So you can see the changeover from those two schemes. We also have the introduction of the Easter Beast series, which will continue up until 2010. And it has purple rims this year with the three-time champion Gravedigger body that we just saw. We also have the return of the multi-pack variant of the Gravedigger uh, chrome grim body with the plastic base. And also another playset variation, often referred to as the Digger's Dungeon display truck because at Digger's Dungeon, up until recent years, it had a Gravedigger displayed outside with the same roof panel um, out front of the Digger's Dungeon in uh, Outer Banks, North Carolina. It has gray rims and a gray chassis in addition to that new Gravedigger scheme and that different roof panel. And for part one, we are going to wrap it up at 2010, a big year for Gravedigger. This was actually a year of heavy community involvement in the Hot Wheels Monster Jam series. So this is often referred to as the best year of Hot Wheels Monster Jam. And for Gravedigger, we got a couple cool models. So first things first, let's run through the ones we already saw before. We get a release of this in a new duo pack with a Gravedigger Hot Wheels car. We also have the return of the multi-pack variant of the Grim Gravedigger Chrome. We do not see a standard release of a Gravedigger in the main line, but we do have the start of the Mud Tread series. So this was again, a community suggestion that they took and used uh, community members wanted mud treads for customs and different things. So they did introduce a mud truck series. And this was the first one of Gravedigger. So you can see it has mud on it and some on the roof there with those new painted treads. So this was a big groundbreaking moment in Hot Wheels Monster Jam. Gravedigger does debut the series. And then we have another new introduction, which were the vintage trucks. So this was part of the vintage truck series. This is the primer Gravedigger, the first Gravedigger officially ever made in real life. It is often referred to simply as primer Gravedigger a red primer and it was a mud truck before the monster truck tires days of grape digger so this was a really cool model to see here with that classic pickup truck style body and then we have another singles release of the 25th anniversary truck this time it has a plastic base and uh, transparent red decals to make the blood effect on the actual truck's body. So really awesome re-release of 25th anniversary Gravedigger. This is the last time we will see this truck of all time in diecast so far. So there's that one. And then a couple special edition trucks. We have another Easter Beast, as I mentioned, with the green rims this time and the three-time championship, as well as the Easter Ramp Champs Target exclusive four-pack Gravedigger, which has the Gravedigger uh, scheme on a gray chassis and gray rim setup. So this is a very cool variation that not many people know actually exists out there. So I will wrap it up there at part one of this video. We will come back with part two and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And let me know what you guys thought about this evolution video, if it was helpful or educational. I hope it was. And thank you guys for suggesting to bring back this series. I can't wait till part two. And I hope you guys also will subscribe to the channel and like this video and help me keep the channel going. All your support means the world to me. And I will see you guys in that next video. This is Ryan or Monster GMOCD signing out.